ladies and gentlemen and everything in between, welcome to a new LP. I'm Foog, and what am I doing starting this new LP? Not even I know. But, let's get it started anyway. So the reason why I'm starting this other LP is because... Yes, I love King's Quest, and I love King's Quest 6, but it is just so upbeat and pleasant and hilarious and crazy that I need something with, like, a completely opposite sort of mood. And so, I picked this one. There's another LP that I was thinking about doing, but I guess I'm just not, like, ready for it yet, and it's gonna be a lot longer than this one. So, I don't know if, if you guys have ever even heard of Rise of the Dragon. Oh, the other thing is, the, the game I was thinking about LPing aside from this has been done a, a decent bit. And since everybody and their cousin and their neighbor has done King's Quest VI, I figured this one, like, nobody's LPed this. I've seen, like, maybe three actual LPs. And one of them barely counts because you can't even hear the guy speaking as he plays it. And you can't, you can't hear anything. Uh, I don't mean to like complain or diss his LP, but really. So this one's pretty rare, and I just sort of figured, you know, I'm a newbie. This is a rare LP. It's worth a shot. It's worth a shot. And I have awkwardly fond memories of this, despite the history I have with it. There you go, baby. Oh yeah, there's a little bit of voice acting in the intro, I forgot. Have a nice trip. Thanks, Lou. Bum, 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 bum. Hey, little friend. Aww, little friend. You got a good time for me. Ugh. Get freaky with that thing, jeez. Some, some sort of mm. drug patch. Oh. It didn't sound like a perk. Whoa. What was that? Oh my god. Bam! Oh, you gotta love those old sound effects. Classic. In three days, my destiny will be realized, just as the prophecy foretells. We shall destroy those who stand against us and bring this city to its knees. The name Bahamut shall once again strike terror into the hearts of man. And sorry in advance, there is plenty of racism in this game against Asians. Yeah, against, I charge thee, brother, do not fail in your task. It would be most unwise to disappoint me. Big old guy smiley in the background there. Alright, so welcome to Yes, yes, yet another point and click adventure. Rise of the Dragon. Twenty billion people, we've really screwed up this planet. Half of them could use a blaster shoved down their throat. Drugged out punks. Now, the main character, me, in a way, is uh Blade. Now, if any of you have seen Blade Runner, the movie, this game is like I don't know if you call it homage to, or just like a complete rip. Either way, okay, helicopters do not fly that low in the city like that. You know, it's just like a helipad right by my place, right outside of my window. Oh, goodness gravy. Uh, anyway, what's this on the floor? Geez, I'm a freaking slob. Clothes everywhere, empty beer cans. Mom would roll in her grave. She had a grave, effing punks. Alright, well, let's pick up the clothes. I want those. Looks like I got more clothes right there. Overcoat. Formed of synthesized animal hide. Blackened by age and exposure to pollution. Actually, I wasn't thinking that. That was just narrative. Well, yeah, anyway. Pick that up, too. Put it in my inventory. This is the inventory down here. This game's a little weird, actually. It took a while to get used to. Um, back when I was young, I didn't really get to get used to it at all because I wasn't much allowed to play it, believe it or not. <laughs> when I was young, this was a pretty harsh game. Really need to get these sheets washed, not that they'd smell any better. But, uh, I wasn't allowed to 
Oh, there's my gun. Or my pistol, whatever. The blaster. I don't need that right now. My knuckles are deadly enough weapons as it is. So, check my apartment out a bit more. Refrigerator filled with half-empty beer cans and decaying leftovers. Covered in supplies. Let's check it out. Supplies! Birthday. Open that. It's locked. Yeah. Running water. Okay. Uh, I need keys. I don't have keys. Ah, oh, great. Well, okay. This game also gets off to kind of a slow start, but not entirely, not too much. Mostly just kind of looking around, but... Medicine cabinet. <sighs> Some stuff. Oh, wait, what is it, anyway? Uh, nah, pent. Take it anyway, I don't care. And first aid kit, duh. I have one just like that in my car. Let's turn on the shower. Ah, the shower. On the toilet. Man, Nintendo Capri Sun would love this scene right here. Um, but who puts a shower head right over the toilet? So, I mean, really, do you, like, shower while you take a deuce? I don't know, man. I, I just don't know. It's crazy. It's crazy. Over here we have Vidphone Terminal, two-way audio-visual communications device. Man, I shouldn't read those narrative or whatever things like that. It's gonna kill my throat. <laughs> Blinking red light. Message waiting indicator. Uh, ammo! We want the ammo. Take that ammo. Oh, yeah. Beer. Empty can. Can I take it? Can't take it. Power switch. Rumor has it that it turns the box wires on and off. Ha! Huh. Well, let's turn it on. And we have the remote here for the vidphone ding. Let's play this message from Mayor Vincenzi. Vin Vin Vincenzi, I think. Hunter, we've had more reports come in of kids dying. Oh, we're horribly disfigured like my, my poor daughter. This infection is spreading, whatever it is. You've got to find out what's causing this. I suggest that you start at the Pleasure Dome. It's where my daughter was last seen, looking for someone called the Jake. He was one of Chandra's friends. Not that I'd call any of the slime that hangs out there a friend. I'm sending you a vid transmission hard copy of my daughter. It's not pretty, but you might need it. I don't need to remind you that this investigation is strictly unofficial. I don't want a word of this reaching the press. Good luck! Man, my voice changed like five times doing Mayor Vincenzi's voice. Let's take a peek at this picture here, huh? Look at that face, it's terrible. Mayor's daughter. Oh, and there's me. I, I want to put this... Put, put... Exit that. You don't need to be looking at me and my Johns. Under John's. Alright, next message. Yeah. From Momar's Cars. Play. Need a good used hovercar? Momar's Cars is the answer for you. Come down and check out our fine selection of new and used hovercars. Says Glasses Man. Uh, I don't know why I always read it like that. It's always crazy. From Karen. From Karen Summers. That sounds nice. Blade, where the hell were you last night? We did have a date! Oh, did we? Or did it happen to slip your mind? You bag of toxic waste! She's mad. Don't forget you left your keys at my place. Blah, 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 blah. Look at her mouth. It just keeps the... I should just flush them! <laughs> Down the toilet. I'll be at the Bureau of Records early. In case you happen to roll out of bed before noon... Ooh, you cut me! You cut me deep, woman! Alright, that's all the messages we got, as you can see. The message waiting indicator is off, so done. Now this is uh, the ID slot. We need the ID card, because that's actually how we get in and out of our apartment. We need to know that. 
Uh, the game doesn't tell you that, but uh, we need to know that. If you get locked out of your apartment, it's game over. Like, I'm pretty sure that that's, that's it. Now, we need to take care of the situation. First, we're gonna put on our clothes. Oh yeah, looking sweet. Tuck it in, tuck it in. Half tuck doesn't work in the 23rd century. Put on my jacket. A nice, nice trench coat. Oh yeah, buddy. Looking sweet. Real smooth. Alright, well, I think we're done in here, so we're gonna walk outside. Ooh. What's all this here? More buildings. Just what this effing city needs. Uh, can you go that way? Whoa! One wrong step could bring a fall. Maybe I shouldn't go this way. Okay, let's go the other way. The other way. There we go. Come on. I don't have time to stand around. I got work to do. Let's get out of here. Take this uh, supposed elevator. Whoa! Rooftop. I didn't mean to do that. Nakatomi building. Nakatomi building and something about these streets. Sodium sodium vapor lamp. Right. Anything else I can do over here? No? Alright, back to the elevator, I guess. I don't know why I came up to the roof, but uh, I did. How about that, huh? Probably important later. Let's get out of here. I'm sick of sitting around in my apartment like this. Oh, look at that bum. Homeless. Don't touch him. Don't touch him. Probably infected. You don't want to get that plague rat crap. Check out this map here. This is how we navigate the place. So here we are at my apartment. There's Karen's down there. I don't think we want to go over there. She's not going to be home, and uh, I don't think she wants to see me anyway. But well... Let's go to this place first. Pleasure Dome's where we need a certain investigating, but I don't think we're quite ready for it just yet. Alright, let's take a look in this uh, little alleyway. The proprietor of the flower stand is busily at work sorting her merchandise alphabetically by color. Well, them being flowers, that makes sense. Talk to her. Welcome to my place of business, sir. We offer the finest selection of organically grown flowers in the city. Organic? My eyes. My name is Blissful Harmony. You can call me Bliss. Oh, you're a hippie. Great. How can I help you to find greater harmony in your life? You can't. There is no hope in this city. I'm kind of in touch with my girlfriend for missing a date, so, uh... I see. I thought I detected anxiety in your aura. It's quite orange. Oh, you freaks are always... May I suggest a bouquet of roses and a kind apology to your lady friend? Uh... Good idea, you hippie. Give me the best you got. An excellent choice, sir. I'm sure that these flowers will help you reforge a spiritual bond with your loved one. Now, if you will give me your card so I can charge your account. Uh, how much is this gonna cost me? Two hundred dollars plus tax. But how can you put a price tag on love? May I have your card, sir? Man, highway robbery. Can't stand you peoples. It's been a pleasure doing business with you, sir. I bet it has! May you attain happiness and spiritual fulfillment in this life cycle. Goodbye. Oh, you weird commune cultists. Can't stand you. Take my money and my pride. What's this guy doing over here? Smelly bum sits on the sidewalk, mumbling incoherently to himself. Eh, let's give it a shot anyway. DOOM! Well you got a screws or what? Bahamut has risen again? I see them. What the hell are you talking about? Five thousand years he's waited. You've been drinking too much of that rot gut. We're all doomed! Doomed! Uh, thanks, Yoda. Whoever you are. Well, anyway. Recording's gotten to be long enough, and there's plenty to do from here, so we're gonna save that for the next episode, ladies and gentlemen, and everything between. This is Foog, and as usual, uh, you guys, 
take it easy.